NASA has discovered 219 possible new planets. Seven of these new worlds are very Earth-like and habitable. I have prepared a very interesting material for you. Subscribe and like if you want to be aware of new and amazing discoveries. And at the end of the video, I will show seven planets that look like the Earth. Three, two, one. What is planets like the Earth? More than 4,000 worlds have been discovered by the Kepler telescope. The results suggest that there could be billions of Earth-like planets in the Milky Way galaxy. NASA scientists have announced the discovery of 219 new objects outside our solar system. The most interesting thing is that seven of these worlds are rocky, the size of the Earth and habitable. Amazing! The data comes from the Space Agency's long-term exoplanet exploration mission at Kepler. Most of these stars are hundreds of thousands of light years away, so there is little chance human will ever visit them, at least not anytime soon. However, the data could tell astronomers just how common Earth's ordinary planets are and what the chances of finding intelligent extraterrestrial life are. Scientists believe that if any of these planets have a stable atmosphere, there is even a chance that they have life. But are there really new Earths in the neighborhood? Since most planetary orbits are on the same disk or plane, and because this plane is rarely aligned with the Earth, Kepler can only see a fraction of distant solar systems, those that are even slightly tilted become invisible to the transit method. Despite these difficulties, Kepler showed the existence of 4,034 planet candidates, with 2,335 of them confirmed as exoplanets. And these are just the planets found in 0.25% of the night sky. Scientists have concluded that the largest number of planets is a new class of planets called mini-Neptunes. The size of such worlds is between the Earth and the gas giants of our solar system, and they are the most numerous in the universe. While only 49 of thousands of Earth candidates are the size of Earth and in the habitable zone, the discovery shocked the scientific world. It means that billions of such worlds exist in the Milky Way galaxy alone. Scientists are excited about this discovery. In February, for example, the existence of seven rocky terrestrial planets orbiting a red dwarf star was discovered. Such red dwarf stars are the most common in the universe and have more aggressive bursts of solar flares and coronal mass ejections than solar stars. Let's look at the types of planets that are included in the group of planets similar to the Earth. Types of planets similar to Earth Exo-Earth These are terrestrial planets that have a mass, composition, radius, atmosphere and orbit similar to ours in the habitable zone of their stars. They also have a sufficient magnetic field to preserve the atmosphere and protect the surface from excess radiation and stellar winds. Therefore, among the first candidates for the role of a new homeland for Earthlings, it is precisely such exoplanets that are similar to Earth in all basic parameters are considered. Super-Earths These are planets with a mass of 1 to 10 Earth. This term does not emphasize the habitability and surface conditions of a celestial body. Planets' oceans and planets' deserts These are exoplanets that are either 100% covered with water in liquid form or, conversely, a completely dry desert without the slightest trace of water in any form. Gas giants Gas giants are all planets with masses greater than 10 times the Earth's and a composition consisting of a smoky rocky core surrounded by hydrogen and helium. Kepler-62f This planet is one of the most similar to the Earth and is 1.4 times larger than the Earth. It belongs to the class of warm super-Earths. Its sun is a single orange dwarf in the constellation Lyra Kepler 62, 4 to 7 billion years old. It is believed that with a high degree of probability, there is liquid water and a carbon dioxide dominated atmosphere, so the planet is on the SETI target list. Gliese 667 cc. Here, the temperature regime is 90% similar to the Earth's. The presence of a fairly dense atmosphere with a high content of CO2 and the relative proximity to the Earth 22 light years. The mass of the planet exceeds the Earth's minimum three times. Therefore, future colonists will have to exist in increased gravity. Kepler 62e Promising super-Earth orbiting the star Kepler 62. 
Astronomers are sure that its mass is only 1.6 times greater than the Earth and 90% of its surface is covered with a warm ocean. A real resort planet that has every chance of becoming a cozy home for various aquatic organisms. Gliese 581g it is located near the stars Gliese 581 in the constellation Libra, 20.4 light-years from Earth. Scientists who do not doubt its existence claim that it is one of the most attractive in terms of its suitability for the population. The Red Dwarf must provide enough heat for this rocky planet to have its own rivers, lakes and seas. Kepler 22b Its radius is 2.5 times larger than the Earth's so the force of gravity in any case should be acceptable. It also assumes the presence of an atmosphere with a high content of CO2. The sun of the planet, Kepler-22, is located between the constellations Sinus and Lyra. It is similar to the terrestrial sun in terms of spectral type, and its radius and mass are 0.979 and 0.970 of the solar ones. In general, almost like at home. True, you will have to fly far, 619 light-years. Proxima Centauri b is the closest exoplanet to Earth, 4.22 light-years, located in the so-called habitable zone. This factor is very important since the rest of the Earth-like exoplanets are located tens and hundreds of light-years from us. It is possible that the first attempts of an expedition into deep space will be directed in this direction. But not everything is as rosy as it seems at first glance. Based on available NASA data, Proxima Centauri b is a cold, rocky super-Earth that receives an enormous amount of radiation from its star. The newest discovery of astronomers is a single star in the constellation of Aquarius Trappist-1, around which as many as seven exoplanets revolve. Discovering exoplanets that are 100% habitable is only half the battle. Even if exoplanets suitable in all respects are found not far from the Earth, 1 to 10 light-years, we are still separated from them by such gigantic distances that space expeditions still seem completely unrealistic. And this is not to mention such dangers as the risk of radiation exposure of the crew during the flight or possible psychological problems associated with such a long stay in an enclosed space. But that's a topic for a separate video. Support my channel with a like and a subscription if you enjoyed this trip. By the links in the description you will find my Telegram channel and Instagram where I publish new content every day.